A murder reportedly committed in Georgia is being investigated here in Alabama. The victim's body was found dumped behind a building in Bibb County. Parrish Alleman joins us live from West Blockton with an update. Good morning, Parrish. Hey, Gina and Stephen. We're in West Blockton right now, and I want to give you an idea of where we're at. We pulled in off of Alabama Street, and you can't see it, but we are very far back from the road. And this building right here is abandoned. It used to be an old club called the Continental Club, and it is abandoned. You can see right now, very run down, lots of trash inside. This is where that man's body was found out back. We walked around out back, and from there, there's zero visibility. It's only surrounded by woods. Again, no one can really see this from the road unless you're really looking. This is where the man's body was found, but we're told he was killed in Georgia. I spoke with a homicide officer at the Atlanta Police Department, and they are investigating there. The killer, though, we're told, was found in Louisiana. The Bibb County District Attorney tells us that the person that they've identified as the killer was pulled over in Louisiana. An officer looked inside the car, saw some evidence, and arrested them. And we're told that that man has confessed to the murder. We're told he has ties to, to the Tuscaloosa area again. He was found in Louisiana. He is there today. This is a murder case spread out across three states. The body found here in West Blockton will be taken back to Georgia for the autopsy. We're told they have not identified the person killed here yet today. And so far, they are not releasing the name of the man they have arrested for his murder, although we're told he will most likely be brought back here to Bibb County. We're going to be on this story all morning long. We'll bring you all of the updates throughout the newscast and online at CBS42.com. In West Blockton, Pear Shalaman, Wake Up Alabama.